Hi friends, it's Ruth from the Wilmot Public Library. Today I have another nature activity that you can do from home. So, as you can see today, it is raining. But there's no thunder or lightning out, so we can still go outside. All right, joining me today is my helper, Griffin. Since it's pretty wet out here, we are going to wear a few things to help us keep us comfortable while we explore. First off, we're going to put these on our feet. What are these called? Boots! Yes, boots! They're going to help keep our feet dry while we splash in puddles. Next, we're going to wear one of these. What's this called? Coat! A raincoat! Yes, something else to keep us warm and dry when we're outside. Finally, we're going to bring along one of these. Do you remember what this is called? Umbrella! Yes, an umbrella! So I think we're ready to begin. On rainy days, there's something that we like to go out and do very much. Worm counting! Worm counting, yes. We like to go outside and see how many worms we can count on the sidewalk on our block. When it's rainy outside, worms come out to play. Let's go take a look and see what we find. All right, so let's look here. Aha! Is that a worm? Nope. What is it? A stick. Oh, okay, let's keep looking. Oh. What about that? That's a worm. That's a worm. Is he? Hey, he's alive! He's alive, worm number one. He looks like a stick. Whoa, is that a worm? I think it is. Oh, look at it, it's moving. <laughs> it's such a funny color. What color would you call that? I'd call it lavender. A lavender worm. He's very stretchy. Yeah. All right, so how many worms did we count? I think we saw 17. And how many sticks? I think we saw a billion. So here's a question. Why do worms come out on rainy days? At first I thought that maybe they come out because their worm tunnels get flooded, which means filled with water, and they come out to breathe. But then I read that some scientists think that they come out on rainy days because they are the perfect days for worms to travel. See, worms like being moist, which means just a little bit wet, and it's a little bit wet on rainy days, so they can come out and travel really quickly across things that might normally be dry and hot, like a sidewalk. So, whatever the reasons, rainy days are great days for worm counting. I hope you find a lot and have fun. Happy counting. See, we go all the way around the block. We might find more worms that we, we weren't expecting to even be here. So, keep your eyes out for them. Make sure you have some very sharp eyes.